This is actually a very high rated game. 4.6 stars out of almost 30,000 reviews. That sounds like a very, very interesting game that is definitely worth trying out, right? Well, honestly, there are some good and some bad aspects to the game and I plan on talking about both. So you begin Swordmaster's story off with some story. You're the final Swordmaster left in the entire world and you meet this cute girl who saves you after being turned on by your country. This is kinda like how Mrs. Sticks and I met. She was the healer that saved me, and I was the, uh, the, <clears throat> the greatest sword master to have ever lived. Yep. This game is totally depicting our life. After sitting through some story, you're thrown into a tutorial battle that explains some of the features and the mechanics of the game. Or at least I think it was a tutorial battle. The battle auto played as you moved horizontally across the screen, one-shotting all of the enemies. However, after playing the game for over half an hour straight, I was still slashing horizontally across the screen with zero control over my character. I had the option of clicking through some skills down at the bottom of the screen, but at the same time, I honestly felt that there was absolutely no need to. Now, I do want to state that the encounters definitely got more difficult. At one point, I went up against this spider boss thing that we did literally zero damage to, and this ultimately forced me to go and level my characters and equip them with new gear and upgrade all of their skills, something that I honestly should have been doing anyway. But the majority of that time, for like the first, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 hours of the game, you really don't need to touch anything. That was something that I just didn't expect to see considering how easy the combat had been up until that point. There's a story present, you're trying to, well, okay. There's definitely a story present, but the translations feel as though they were run through Google Translate, meaning that it was definitely possible to discern what was going on, but not with any kind of definitive accuracy. Interestingly enough, where most RPGs have you run through missions and chapters to progress through not only the game, but also the story, I feel as though Swordmaster Story didn't. You just kinda click next stage and then proceed to move to the next fight, which had maybe a few small lines of text and more horizontal auto slashing. This was kind of disappointing for me because I'm a huge fan of story in my games. Not is that though, but I also couldn't replay the missions, or at least replaying the missions was not a feature that was easily accessible. Graphically, the game looks great, both the environment and the character models. Combat is fast and smooth, and overall, the game looks and plays great. My issue is the autoplay and the poor translations, but both can be overlooked if they don't really bother you. I was, admittedly, very, very surprised that this was as highly rated as it is, though. But this is my opinion, my impressions of the game. What do you guys think? Have you played it? Do you enjoy it? Do you want to try it out? Let me know down in the comments below, and let's talk about it. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Ooh, everyone who didn't believe